They feel like this is the last chance they have to get a community benefits agreement in place before the city hands over land to the owners of the Ambassador Bridge. They say it happened for the Gordy Howe Bridge development, and it should happen in this case. People in the Hubbard Richard and Hubbard Farms neighborhoods in southwest Detroit are demanding city council set up a community Everybody benefits questions. agreement before finalizing a land deal so the owners of the Ambassador Bridge can build a second span next to the current one. We cannot allow that valuable piece of land, our public park land that the Maroons say they need, to just give it away. Council will soon vote on transferring land at 3805 West Jefferson to the Maroon family and the Detroit International Bridge Company to build a six lane bridge linking Motown and Windsor. The Ambassador Bridge has just four lanes. Residents say an expanded bridge would bring more pollution, noise, traffic, and property damage. For the houses and structures around here, we need money for home repair. We need money to fortify these buildings uh, to make sure that they don't further deteriorate because of ground shaking. I mean, the health and public well-being of our neighborhood is affected by this. You know, we know that you put in for a hazard or permit to um, transport hazardous material. So what if the truck is blows? What if it's a spill? What are, what ensure, what guarantees do you have for the existing and incoming residents? The city of Detroit received about $3 million for park improvements in the deal and would get a couple million more after it's cemented. Just two miles downriver, construction is underway on the Gordy Howe Bridge in the Delray neighborhood. It's a public-private partnership involving the U.S. and Canadian governments, and Ruben Romero says its land transfer deal stands in stark contrast to this one. My brother and a few other, a lot of the people over there that live in that neighborhood got grants or whatever they gave money to fix up their houses. To, for the noise pollution and all that, everything that's going to happen over there, they're making it better for them to live there. And with that being the case in Delray, people living near the Ambassador Bridge ask why not here. The city did not transfer one property to the Gordy Howell developer till the CBA was put into place. That is valued at 60 to 80 million. So that value is the kind of value of protection that all of our people need. I reached out to the uh, Detroit International Bridge Company for comment. No response and no official word from city council, but there is at least one member uh, who supports getting a CBA in place. It's Raquel Castilla de Lopez. She tells me that she will be voting no on the lands transfer when the city council takes up this issue on Wednesday.